This video shows how to troubleshoot a dim or unreadable notebook display. Follow these steps to troubleshoot your notebook display when it is too dim or unreadable. Restart your notebook using AC power to see if the dim display is caused by a hardware failure. Connect the AC adapter to the notebook and a working electrical outlet. Power down the notebook by pressing and holding the power button for 5 seconds. Press the power button again to restart the notebook. If the display is still dim, continue to the next step. Check the BIOS to see if the display is dim before Windows loads and is caused by a hardware failure. Turn the notebook off. Press the power button and immediately press the escape key repeatedly until the startup menu appears. Use the right arrow key to select F10 BIOS Setup and then press the Enter key. If the display is dim, perform a system recovery. Adjust the LCD brightness using the function keys. Hold the function key and press the F10 key to increase or the F9 key to decrease the brightness of the display. The key numbers, F9 or F10, might be different depending on your model. However, the images on the keys will be similar. The notebook display brightness might return to the default settings after restarting. Use the function keys to increase the brightness again or change the default settings to a brighter level. If the function keys do not adjust the screen brightness, continue to the next step. Update the drivers and software using HP Support Assistant or manually download updates from hp.com. Some computers come equipped with HP Support Assistant. Use this program to easily update the drivers and BIOS on your computer. To download updates from HP's website, open a browser and go to support.hp.com. Follow the on-screen instructions to download and update the drivers and BIOS on your computer. If the screen is still dim after updating the BIOS and drivers, go to the next step. If the issue is not resolved, perform an HP system recovery using HP Recovery Manager. Visit support.hp.com for more information on performing a system recovery. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash how to for you.